welcome back to my channel my name is Cree. in this video i'm going to be doing this frontal install this frontal install i've said this wig install it's a wig that i have made so the frontal is from um shop tail london i'll be listing them down in the description bar below but the rest of the hair girl <laughs> if you want to know how i achieved this look and done all these baby hairs and shit then keep watching do not hesitate to continue watching <laughs> Listen, I'm about to be a snip snip hey wig bitch push back. Okay, so I've got my wig cap underneath. Originally I wanted to like cut it like this, like um Shansia. I wanted it to be cut, but I don't think I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna keep it like this length for a little while because I really like it. Today I was going to wet it and I haven't wet it, so I will be right back. You see how it just looks so much better already because it's wet. I do on my clients I don't really like to stick it straight away I kind of line it up first and then afterwards we stick it down all right it's basically kind of sticking right about now anyway and then I get my comb and I put my my comb lay my comb on the hair and then push it back push the comb down onto your skin I mean so that you are pushing the lace into the skin when you're doing this though, be careful because you might just comb into the lace and then you end up ripping the lace. So be careful when you're doing this. Make sure it's like flat on your head when you're pushing it back. I'm not gonna stick down the flaps just yet because I need to cut around my ears and make sure that the ears are good. All right, to do around my ear, I basically get my tail comb, I hold down this Hold down the bottom of the lace and I go to the bottom of my ear here and I literally part straight up. Part straight up and then you want to clip, like hold that down and you want to clip this out of the way. And that way you can now cut up and then whatever you want to, like you can cut that part off. Right, let me do that. push it down and then use the comb again and I can't really do it too much on this side actually maybe let me see just about but yeah I'm just gonna push it in a little bit more and then get the comb and go over it and I'm going to put a slit in here and a slit in there okay i'm going to use a razor to do this because i've got that razor as well okay and i'm just going to you know what i'm saying just look at that i mean obviously there's a bit of glue back there but don't watch that right now can you see 
where it looks good. That's what I want you to see. So, now that this is all done, can you see that we're looking splendid? Okay. We don't really have to do like straightening the hair and stuff. So normally in this time, I would like put my band on or straighten my hair. But because we're not straightening our hair, we're gonna do baby hairs and all that kind of stuff because I love baby hairs. Make sure all the hairs are lying down flat when you're doing like this way forward. You don't want it lying backwards. Before you put your band on, you wanna make sure you pull forward all the baby hairs you wanna do, otherwise they will be laying backwards. So this is the baby hairs I want to do here. This band will help your glue to set. Make sure you pull the, the baby hairs forward, just so the glue does not catch it in any way and make it lie a different way. I haven't been filming the whole time I've been doing that. I stopped the thing and I didn't press it play again. This is the foam I'm using. And this is not the foam you want to use to lay down your baby hairs. There's a particular foam that hairdressers use to lay down baby hairs. And there's a particular way you should put lay down your baby hairs just so it does not slide off. Because that's what people be saying, that their, their baby hairs be sliding off. I mean, their wigs be sliding off because of the way they put their baby hairs on and blah, 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 blah. There's a particular way to put on your wigs and your foam and lay down your baby hairs with foam without your head sliding off. What I'm doing is just clipping this backwards, a blow dryer, and kind of like, I want my hairs to fall out there, so I'm going to chop, okay? Okay, now that we have our baby hairs cut, we are using Nairobi. Nairobi is your best friend when it comes to laying down your baby hairs. When I lay down my baby hairs, I don't just go ch -ch 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 -ch. No, you just glue down your frontal. You don't want it to be lifting. You wanna pump it a couple times on the back of your hand, and then you don't just go like this or whatever. You then want to get your get the comb and what's in your comb is what will be going on your head so with the baby hairs here i like to i like it to go up up like this wherever your wherever your your, fo your comb is going that's where the foam goes i like this to go up so it will be going up yep yeah. then here i like this to go around I don't use my fingers because the oils in my fingers will then transfer onto it and then too much pressure will just make it like go stupid so I don't use my fingers. But yeah when you do your baby hairs you want to play around a lot. It's not going to come out nice the first time you do it so don't, don't, don't be hard on yourself like oh my gosh it's not coming out how I want it. See how I put too much on there? I'm gonna put the rest on my on my hand. See it's dripping there? Put the rest on my hand. Get that rip off. I don't like it to be too wet because then if it's too wet, it's just gonna come off. 
but this um this particular foam doesn't have any um doesn't have any alcohol in it so the alcohol is what makes your your frontals lift this doesn't have any alcohol in it take it off there's not any alcohol in it so it won't um see i didn't need all of that don't think i need all that depends there we go that's what i need that's what I needed. Then you want to get a band and put it over the part that's wet so it sinks in and dries. Okay, so now that I am back, I can take this off. Oh my gosh, this has give, been giving me a headache, I can't lie to you. I've had this one and it's the relief. Oh, feels so good. Okay, so we're going to pull forward. And when you're doing this, pull it slowly. Because you're not trying to pull off anything, you know? Just pull it slowly. It's fine. I don't like the whole uniformed look. You feel me? I don't like it. I'm going to get this beauty blender. And I normally do this with the excess that's on there. Just push it down on the parts where you can see my scalp. Because we don't have no tent and shit. So I normally do that. And then you cannot see it. You feel me? And get the brush and I just brush out. Brush out the baby hairs. Because it doesn't need to look so uniform. Do you know what I mean? Even these, they don't need to be there like that. <laughs> they can be there anyhow, and it doesn't even need to be that thick. Like I can take some out of it because it is a little bit thick there. See, that's better. Put that behind the ear. Like Use my cream of motions and run it through my hair, parted, if you know what I mean. Cantu, it could be any um, curl activator. This is Shine and Define. I basically get a bunch of it. I get a bunch of it and I literally run my hands through it all. Thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe you got this far then i appreciate you 